Hi guys, welcome to another episode of our tutorials. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm gonna show you how you can fix objects disappearing, otherwise known as camera clipping in Blender 2.82. So let's get started. <laughs> When you have a shot you're working on, there are chances that you won't fall in love with your shot and make sure you take charge of every bit of the shot. For example, I have the shot here where the character is clinging on to something. You want to go in, zoom in, make sure the fingers are tight, holding firmly on the object, but all of a sudden you can see that uh, part of your object is being uh, uh, obscured. Now this is a big problem, one. Now second scenario is you have a shot where you want your camera to capture the whole essence of the scene from a wide shot and then you decided to zoom out to capture the essence and suddenly your object disappears. This is the second scenario for this problem. It is called camera clipping and I'm going to show you how to fix it now. Let's, let's zoom back in and fix the first instance. So to do this, I'm going to bring up my my side bar by using n and that brings my side bar and i'm going to look for the i'm going to go to the view tab by default yours might be on the item tab just make sure you click on the view tab and on the view tab you look for clip starts and clip end so for the clip starts i'm going to reduce the value of the clip starts so i can accommodate for my mesh that is disappearing as you can see here so from 0 0.2 i'm going to dial this down a tad and that reveals my mesh so i can zoom in as tight as i want to and go around it to make sure i have that grip from the fingers so we've solved the first problem i want to show you how to solve the second one now so by zooming out my object disappears because of the end clipping so i'm going to increase the value of the end clipping by making it a thousand enter and you can see my object reappears so the value for the end clip by default is 1000 i had to reduce this value for the purpose of this tutorial and that's because sometimes people work on projects where they need to scale up the object so much so when you scale up your object the 1000 meters will be very small in that instance and then you need to change your camera or clip both for the start and then the end so i also want to note that this information is unique based on your viewports so i have two viewports right here let me bring up the the sidebar information for the other viewport and you can see the value for the clip start and clip end is different from the value for the clip start and clip end here that means whatever changes you make in this viewport does not affect the second viewport so if you need to do something within the second viewport, just make sure you change the clip start and clip end accordingly. And finally, I want you to know that your camera also have these settings too. And to change it from the camera, if you're looking at your object via your camera view, you can click on the camera, then go to the camera tab. This is the camera tab here, click on the camera tab, then go under lenses, under lens, and then click on the clip, the clip starts change the values accordingly and the, the clip end change the values accordingly and you have it so this is what i'm going to call it a wrap i hope you've learned one or two things from this video don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel if you've not done so until next time keep your creativity blending